As we celebrate Black History Month, today we are focusing on a story about some of our bravest veterans. The U.S. Marine Corps was the last branch of the military to desegregate. And a new documentary is chronicling the journey of the first African-American Marines from training to World War II and beyond. That's right. We sat down with one of the gunnery sergeants to learn about the Montford Point Marines. From 1942 to 1949, a few brave African-American men changed the face of the United States Marine Corps forever. Named after their first camp, the Montford Point Marines were trailblazers. Starting on 1 June 1942, blacks were finally allowed to sign up to be recruited for the Marine Corps. Retired Master Gunnery Sergeant Joe Geeter of the U.S. Marine Corps shares the valuable history of our first African-American Marines, starting with the training. Montford Point Camp was a segregated camp. We felt indignity that was thrown at us. The first recruit started from scratch after they were dropped off at a rundown camp. It had dilapidated buildings, they had no running water, absolutely no electricity. So those first recruits that arrived in 1942 literally had to build their own camp. They faced tough training and abuse from some white Marines. But when black drill instructors came the next year, the drills got even more intense. Because these men realized that if these folks did not make it through the Marine Corps, it will reflect on everybody. The training paid off. Montford Point proved to be a success. During the World War II years, uh, right around 18, 5, 19,000 went through. And of that number, about 12,000 went overseas to serve in the Pacific. Montford Point Marines served in some of the bloodiest struggles in the Pacific. While they were initially only used for backups and replacements, these Marines proved themselves in combat. And in Peleliu, the Marines were actually being overrun and it was the black Marines that came up and, and brought their wounded back and brought ammo and supplies up to the front. Some of these white Marines called the black Marines the black angels. Gunnery Sergeant Geeter says their performance in World War II cemented their legacy of loyalty and courage. They laid down a history on how to conduct yourself under difficult circumstances. Today, the House of Representatives will pass a resolution giving these Marines their long overdue recognition. In 2011, Congress unanimously passed a bill honoring the Montford Point Marines with a congressional gold medal. And we identified over 400 living original Montford Pointers that were able to travel to D.C. on June 27, 2012, where we received collectively the Congressional Gold Medal at Emancipation Hall in the U.S. Capitol. We accept this on behalf of an incredibly great nation. But the work isn't done. So for the past 10 years, the Moffa Point Marine Association has been seeking out these families. To date, we have awarded only approximately 3,000 medals. If you know a black Marine who served in World War II, please contact MontfordPointMarines.org. You can learn more by watching ABC's docuseries titled Our America, Mission Montford Point. Check local listings for details. Rising above racism and bravely serving, we salute our first black Marines.